Hey guys, this is William Myers, Manist Outdoors, and today I got a new video for you. I haven't done any videos about filters. Uh, I was going to do some videos about making your own filters and stuff like that, but I want to introduce this to you right now, and it is from Survival Filter. And it's just a little mini filter, you know, a, a, a water bottle can screw onto it, two liter bottle, things like that. But <clears throat> this impressed me just by reading it. And it's not less like they just threw a bunch of facts out, up and, you know, that was that. They've had this tested at uh, a place actually here in Columbus, Ohio. They had sent it to the lab, had it tested, and, you know, just to back up what they're saying. And this filter will filter down to 0.5 microns. You know, so let's break this down and see what's inside and then go use it. So a lot of people, they just rely on only boiling their water. And that's great. You know, per the CDC and the Wilderness Medical Society, the only 100% way to be safe is to boil your water. But if I'm hiking and I'm you know, going from point A to point B, I don't feel like stopping in between and boiling water. You know, I've used up what water I have with me. You know, I could pull this out of my pocket or even from around my neck because it has a neck lanyard attachment. You know, and I could take a quick drink from any stream or pond or anything like that that I find on my way. Now, here's the number one reason why you should have a filter. Now, if you listen to any of the Bushcraft 101 stuff, you know, we all preach, you know, you gotta have a stainless steel bottle so you can boil your water. Boiling water is the only 100% way to kill all the virus or bacteria, blah, 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 blah in it. Okay, that's all fine and, and dandy, but if any of you happen to watch Naked and Afraid XL, which, you know, I'm friends with DJ, so I gotta watch Naked and Afraid XL, but I think it was the last episode, uh, in the last episode, they were getting really dehydrated, and the reason they were getting really dehydrated is because they had to boil water. They had to get the water, they had to start the fire, they had to boil the water, they had to set it aside, wait for it to cool before they could drink it and repeat the process. You know, and it's, one of them actually ended up digging a, a well that turned out to be good. But even though they were boiling water and making it safe, they were getting dehydrated because of the environment that they were in, the process takes so long to boil the water. So there may be a time, especially if you're in a hot, arid area, where you just need to drink a lot of water and especially you're going to be able to drink the water and it's going to be cool. So something to consider when it comes to boiling water uh, you're still going to have all the dirt and all that stuff. All that does is it takes the bugs out of the water so you don't get sick. But when you have a filter you can drink cool water on demand and cool down your body's core temperature. So any of you that watch that show have seen what I'm talking about and that's just something I thought of when Will's talking about the filter. That's why you should have a filter in addition to your stainless steel bottle. So the limitations to this filter is, is that you can't fill a container up. You know, like if you had a stainless steel bottle with you and that was your primary container for water. You know, you can't you know, fill your container up with this filter. But I think pretty soon I'm going to be getting another filter that I'm going to show you guys that will do that exact job. But for right now, let's go test this out see what happens Three. so we're at this creek right now and you know a lot of people think that just because the water's running and it's getting aerated that you know that's going to take out the viruses protozoas bacteria, you know all the kind of nasties that you want to stay away from and that's absolutely not true it would have to be aerating you know that that's more like ozoning and that's done in a big chamber and then an unstable form of oxygen is pumped through that water that's something completely different than water running over a couple rocks so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the filter right now, drink out of this stream, and uh, see if I have any taste or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. You know, it's like Chris was saying, the benefits of being able to get a cool drink within seconds, other than boiling and then placing my bottle in the creek so that it cools it down, is just amazing. You know, you can see there's no water left in it. I really don't like uh, very little water left in it. 
I don't like some of the other filters that you can that just hold a lot of water because then it'll it'll get mildew. But every time you use this filter, I would shake it out real good, get it nice and dry. That way you don't have any issues with the, the inside of the filter itself. So let's break this down and show you what's inside. So you know there's some options that you have with this filter. If you look on the end right here, you can see that it has kind of like a little nipple. And that you can put silicone hose on and stuff like that and drink from even um, slingshot bands. You know, that would work. Um, slip them on, that way you can get into harder to reach areas with this. You can see it has threading right here, so you can screw different types of bottles on. I've tried two liter water bottles, regular water bottles, they all fit pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and take this thing apart. And first of all, through the bottom, you can see it has a cotton pre-filter. And that's just kind of to get the particulate matter out. That'll catch all that stuff. You know, any other sediments or anything like that it has to go through that. It won't go through that before it hits the main filter body, which is right there. And that, it comes all the way up. That, that's pretty much filling all of this chamber up right here. <clears throat> and all of these parts are replaceable. And then the last part is... Yeah, a really good shot of that that main filter in there and the last right, so the last piece is the actual drinking apparatus that it comes apart i'm not going to take it apart but it comes apart and they sell this replacement it's the charcoal filter and you know that is pretty much the last step before it reaches you and you know that's going to get take care of uh some of the other uh microbes and things like that just kind of give the water a, a final scrubbing before you actually ingest it it's gonna help it's the main thing that what that is lacking in like a sawyer mini and the charcoal filter does a lot for the taste it does yeah um you know uh, like i like we were saying the stats on this things are, are pretty amazing it beats out a lot of the other filters that are out there especially the ones that are this small especially um you know, that's why I was really interested in it and I wanted to pick one up for me to test out. And I've been using this for a couple weeks now and one, I haven't gotten sick. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty well known for drinking out of anything that really comes along. I really don't care. I've had Giardia before. I've never had Cryptosporidium or anything like that. I actually got Giardia from a dog, not a uh, water source. So I've never actually gotten sick from a water source before three days later <laughs> no, we're not testing the soil, man. all right guys what's well, been William Myers Mass Outdoors I hope you enjoyed this video if you did there's some more of my previous videos that are playing in the screens to my left right now there's also a subscribe button over there if you haven't done so I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with what I'm doing with my school and the YouTube channel, stay posted on the videos that are going to be uploaded. You can go to www.facebook.com forward slash Manus Outdoors or you can go to www.manusoutdoorsllc.com. Liking my videos helps me and my channel out a lot. I appreciate all your views, comments, and support, and hopefully we'll see you out in the woods.